There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Peace yes, and mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Mark and Ninja Remastered, where, well, last time we finished the game, and we could go into New Game Plus, and I did say that I'd probably uh, stream this game some more in, uh, at other times, just to try and get through levels, like, completely stealthy or by killing each and every target. But that's not what we're here for today. What we're here for is Those Hands Tale, which is, well, a DLC that <laughs> got added in. And, yeah, I don't think this will take too long, like, probably about an hour or so, but I could be wildly underestimating how long it is. I yeah. very much doubt it'll be as long as the main game. Yeah, so, I told this to him earlier that I wasn't sure if I'm having an actual memory or a false memory that this one might be only 40 minutes long. I don't know why I have that memory. And I don't yeah, fully but, trust it. I feel like it is something about we tried this before. It was surprisingly short or something. Hmm. Maybe you maybe you're remembering like a playthrough you saw or something. I but, haven't yeah. seen anyone play this beside you. <clears throat> oh, I guess we'll find out then. And yeah, if we still have a decent amount of time left after this, we'll get started on Steam World Dig too. But for now. A tale from the past. In days past, a young Dos a young Dosan was sent to Tabriz to deal with bandits who have put the clan's future at risk. It was, oh, 50 years ago that I paid a visit to that fortress outside Tabriz. The only place on earth where the plants that make our tattoo ink will bloom. We had struck a deal with some bandits. We would watch over their exports to the east, and in return, they would guard our plants. But in time, they learned of the true value of the plants, and like vermin, they turned on us. The clan sent me there to straighten them out. One identifying thing <laughs> is this handband. The hidden path, I still remember the taste of dust. Okay. Let's see. Knocking an enemy after stunning them with dusk moths. Arm two of the four <coughs> four of the straps without being seen. Use a suspended block trap to terrify a, a bandit. Okay. Oh, path of Wisdom. You have a non-lethal takedown and can carry more of each of your items. However, you have no sword. You cannot use Farsight and Focus will not stop time. Yeah, we do not have... <coughs> we do not have the tattoos that gave us, well, <laughs> Ninja Bullet Time. Okay. I never carried a sword. It was pride, really. Back then I could bring down anyone with my bad hands. Stun instead of kill. Okay, so that probably means that they will get up after a after amount of time, or if someone finds them. All the better to ensure we take them all down then. Okay, there. And yeah, this also yeah, helps explain why those uh, bandits were, well, in the area when we pass through, or when we will pass through this in the f as the ninja in the future. And yeah, we kind of want to have these alive to actually, well, do their assigned job, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Okay, can be revived by their allies. Okay, so they will stay down unless they are found. Okay, now what have we here? Dusk mods. A cloud of insects that block targeted lights and disable struck enemies. Okay. Dusk moths. Perfect for creating shadows without arousing suspicion. Okay, they give us some lights to test it with, but... Let's try and find someone to actually use the well instead. Okay. Not gonna let me have, yeah. I'm just stunning them with dusk mods. Let's see. 
Wait, again, this shouldn't take too long, I think. But better to not underestimate things too much. Nobody here? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't really have too much memory of this, actually. There we go. Yes. Go closer. Okay. If we'd had Farsight, I might have been able to see that one, but no. We know you're here. Do you? <laughs> okay. Now, what does... Probably that. Okay. Yep. Ow! <laughs> oh, and that, that only knocks him out? Okay. Wait, it's the wire. <laughs> yeah. Depending on the way, it may not have crushed him, but he definitely could go to stock in all the steel wires. And yeah. may need some medical help. <laughs> definitely. Okay. That lifts this up. But yeah, people, all depends on how heavy the damn thing is. Yeah. Ah. Okay, for a second I thought we'd have to rush, but no, it, it landed on a little platform up there. Kind of forgot about that. Oop. I can hear someone else nearby. Let's not kill them, since we kind of need these bandits to work for us still. Yeah, don't worry if you were to, out of habit, throw him down the pit with the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this also uh, makes the clan a bit even more shady with them basically... I never knew I had <laughs> with, their lives in my hands. Basically, uh... What would be the correct word? Condoning or such? Is there condoning drug trade and such? That was... Yeah, it was going to come falling down sooner or later anyways. Okay. <clears throat> the tunnels were shrouded in lantern smoke and shadow. Stand still too long and you would feel the scorpions picking at your toes. Okay. Okay, but did I even say it was drugs? We all know they could just be smuggling weapons and uh, other goods. True, but still. It's uh, still a crime, yes. Yeah, still Ill illicit matters. Okay. I'm going to quickly hide this guy a bit more. Let's see. Suspended block trap to terrify a bandit. How do we do... How do we terrify one of them? Do, do we just need to drop it, like, right next to them or something? Because I suspect this would work for that. Hmm. Now that'll just alert him if we set that off. Hmm. Here. What is this connected to? Yep. That. <laughs> okay. I, I thought that was just a mechanism in the wall there. There we go. Oh dear. And it's a it's a bit ironic that it's that Dosan's outfit slash style is called Path of Wisdom when he's well not <laughs> not using a sword out of pride. Not so. My little monkey, you reach for the highest plum, but your grip is weak. Okay, now it's those song with the poetry. Making sure to hide them plenty far, so there's no accidental discoveries. Yeah, that's more traps. I, I like that you can still see them in the walls, even though we don't have a ninja sight. Okay. 
Oh, okay, those fall apart after we use them. Okay. Hmm. Fungal spores creates a suffocating cloud. One of the enemies become infected, and anyone who approaches will cause the spores to rupture again. Okay. We discovered the fungus the first time we came to Debris. In the right hands, it's deadly and contagious. The plants grew in an ancient conservatory. But to reach them, I had to sneak through the old fortress where the bandits were holed up. Okay. That was an easy find with the artifact. It was built centuries ago by some shah or other. Every hallway was filled with traps. And those bandits didn't know about half of them. <laughs> but I did. I knew where to find the three levers that armed the traps. The first would reactivate a bunch of old gunpowder bombs. The I'll second over. would fill all the fortress's narrow spaces with spikes. Finally, a trigger at the top of the fortress would cause the old fixtures and climbing points to collapse. Okay, so we can d <laughs> we can pick which to activate first, but they're all going to make things difficult for us. Yeah, and I kind of wonder what year what the heck this is. It feels kind of like a parallel world. They call this ancient, but... Yeah, this lo lo looks like a ruin, but it looks like a ruin of a civilization that was advanced, but had, uh, well, a bit of taste of old, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, uh, okay, I was kind of expecting those to get blocked by the platform. And yeah, the other one, uh, yeah, the main game takes place 50 years after this, and there's already electronical locks and such. So I guess that does help explain how there's just that high-tech uh, stuff in the main game. It's yeah, probably also... like a... It's probably like a 2050 or something then. Yo, hi, your sense. Just look at... They say this is Asian. Look at all the pipes! Yeah. And even in this place, this is 50 years ago. Gave way below me. Knives flew by my ankles. I can't believe I never once feared I would die. But even here they have a of ancient electronics. Yep. Go ahead in the other levels. Too close. They have a, they had cities of ancient castles. It was made into cities. We still high tech and all. Yeah, I doubt the electronics here are well, from the old time. But still, yeah. Yeah, some of them might be, not all of them. Yeah, I think the electronics were put in later, more recent. Uh, likely, I guess. But there's still uh, a lot of. Uh, Things that looks way too advanced for ancient what time uh, from our view. It's not for me to question a shah. Okay. Here we go. And now all of those, well, not all of those, but a lot of those hiding spots will now just play and explode. Okay, that's not good. Again, we can't just jump over them. There. Okay, 
Open the door. Let's also shut off the trap. Okay. Let's go for the spike ones. Uh, the spike one next. Because, well, that's... <clears throat> it's closer than the top one. It is going to make it more difficult to get around sneakily. But, yeah, we can't just knock everyone we find out. Or I can just accidentally land directly on top of them. And there goes the but Oh well, we're not here for maximum score. Yep. Well, now we get the chance to retry it. Yeah. Okay. There. Is that actually close enough? No, just... <laughs> just far enough away. Still, just to be absolutely sure. Okay. I'm going to just presume that every vase and urn and whatnot can blow up now. And yeah, we may not be able, we may not be able to kill people from both different hiding spots and such, but we do have a lot more reach like this. There go. Just move you over. Yeah, if we drop them from a high enough range, we probably will still kill them, but let's try not to. Sneaky path. Doing this just so we can get the undetected. Or not, what? Oh well. Stay out of the light. Hmm. And we don't have to go after them to knock them out and such, and we don't get points for it, so... Let's see. Oh, okay, those will actually spread a bit. Go. Nobody over there? No. Okay, there's the lever. First, first door we need to lock, pick. Okay. Hmm. We probably can sneak in again, but I think I'll just not. Okay. And then we just go this way. For the last of them. Hmm. Mm, there's the guy over there. So let me just use another one of these. Okay. And yeah, going upwards here. Everyone's knocked out already. That fortress had stopped the worst armies the world could Oop. throw at it. But I just slipped right through. Ooh, ooh. Almost would have been spotted there. But yeah, that's the thing with uh, fortresses and such. They are meant to hold out armies. Uh, yeah, infiltrators, they are a whole lot less good at keeping out. Yeah, no, just look at the building background hill. And you see what I mean, like... It looks ancient, but also advanced. To a degree, it does look rather modern. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 
Gotta wait for him to turn back around. Can't see if there's anyone else there. And I saw that in all yeah. the places. See, so yeah, hard to tell what era this game might be set in. Yeah. Ooh. And there's also possibility it can it's basically just an alternative Earth as well. Yeah, likely. Hmm. Where both sci-fi stuff and uh, just mysticism is uh, exists. Yeah. Okay, that's sealed off. So I'll need to block out the lights, jump over, grapple to that, and move on. Oh, come on! Okay, I should have hit it a bit later then. Okay, at least we got the seal already. I forgot, that makes noise. I do, to a degree, I do like that it does make noise, because it does make it uh, not too easy yeah. to sneak up on people. Hmm. Can I see again what they do? Uh, no. I might need to use this on them, just to see what it does then. Yeah. Okay, that's a tool kill. Someone is down. So much for non-lethal. Okay, so you can get two kills with that. This guy's on alert. Okay, good thing I didn't go after him immediately because this guy would have spotted me. Nope. He got someone. Hey, coming. Yeah. Where did he go? Okay, just a little bit too close to the light. Okay. Yeah, uh, I forgot about the spikes. <laughs> okay, uh, no now going rest. that way. Or at least no going that way without just making it speedy. Let's see. I'm not seeing any footsteps here. It Probably for the most standing still. Yeah. Oh, damn it. As long as I don't make contact with the floor here, the spikes won't activate. But, yeah. <laughs> that just shows how much that uh, far sight is just an absolute cheat. Huh? Kinda. Okay. The last trap was armed. It was time to infiltrate the conservatory. Okay. Let's see. Use a suspended block trap to terrify a bandit, not to kill them. There. Okay. Uh, yeah, further down. Oh, hello there. And good night. Uh, okay, why the combat music? 
Okay. Item refilled. Items refilled. Telephone poles! Again, those are likely modern additions. Okay, I completely Why? missed a, a bomb there. Why would they install traffic lights and telephone poles in a hidden desert? Or a hidden base? Yep. The traffic lights, I would uh, say, yeah, those don't make sense, but I, I don't think I saw those. And for the rest, uh, yeah, they'd still want electricity around here. Same mistake, because I distracted myself. Uh, all right, yeah. I'm used to those electric posts usually for telephones. Uh, even then, they, they would want some communication with the outside world. Just because this place is run by bandits doesn't mean that uh, it's just... <coughs> yeah, it doesn't mean it's uh, completely cut off from the world. Is that the scroll, is but... expected to maybe use something more discreet. Hmm. Well, the area oh, yeah. itself is already discreet. One has fallen. Hey. Okay, was a bit too hasty there. Again, more fitting <laughs> the name Path of Pride is more fitting than Path of Wisdom. Okay. I do like that after an alarm has been raised that they typically stay alerted like this. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. yeah. I would say this. The civilizations here seem to have uh, raised technical marvels. Metaphorically speaking, quicker than ours? Could be. But, uh, you but still kept a... Uh... Because your hard monkey skull won't crack in a fall. Oh dear. But, but so say, they kept a lot of their cultural uh, style with it. Yeah. But there seems to have been a lot going on. There, in the conservatory. The chief had stationed his best, bravest men. I would leave them a gibbering, terrified mess. I had a choice. Terrify the chief's men, but leave them alive to tell the story. No doubt with great exaggeration. <laughs> or let the fear spread with blood and precision, leaving just a few terrified survivors. Okay, now we have that as an option. Okay. Terrify five bandits. Okay. Let's kill or knock out all bandits in the conservatory. Hmm. Uh, it's easier for us to knock out than kill. Yeah. At least with this character. Roofs were tiled with old slates all overgrown with brambles. I could drop them on the bandits and leave them stunned. And if any of their friends saw, I knew they would run off in terror. Is he talking about... Okay, not about those. Hmm. Okay, so it's either... Heal or KO all of them, or terrify five of them. Hmm. It'd be doable. Just need to find those shingles that he's talking about. Am I the one of getting a gut feeling that this is the only level of this DLC? Yeah. I mean... Seriously, are we actually gonna... Are I gonna be right we finish this under 40 minutes? It looks like. <laughs> Oop, cause terror by hanging enemies using... Okay. Hmm. What are these levers for? Oh, wait. <laughs> the same trap as before. Okay, this guy stops dead center underneath one of them. So uh, we're going to <laughs> leave him hanging for a bit. Hold on. 
Maybe the reason I remember something about 40 minutes might be that you actually looked up how long it was. They are going looking. Nothing. Could be, maybe. It was years ago, people, before we archived this onto YouTube. Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to annoy one of them so they'll go looking I with their it. flashlights. Oop. Yep, well, for you. Well, that was here. Someone is down. Terror was our greatest weapon. Here. Oh, not the they one I was looking for. One man striking from the shadows would seem like an army. Maybe he fled. Dude, are you out there? Have you not? I was about to say. <laughs> okay. Now I just gotta wait for the other, that guy to spot his friend up in the ceiling. <laughs> it's clear. It's very much not clear. But Even look up. Oh well. I don't want to see what happens if I dart him. Okay, basically just starts to shoot madly. Okay. Let's see. Any other opportunities to get some of them? <laughs> One of them is just utterly terrified below there. Okay, and yeah, we're free. Uh, we're free of uh, spiked passageways. Okay. And actually, also make use this to keep track of where they are and such. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Lucky find. Your fur turns gray. That light, brave heart will leave you. Mock death while you can. One or two almost got away. But I always cleaned up my own mess. Okay, there's another one of the traps up there. So just gotta wait for one of them to step underneath. Thank you for volunteering. We are coming for you. I kind of want to see how many I could get with just one of those traps. Just constantly lure them underneath. Come on, dude. Look up. <laughs> no trace, but we will find him. Wait, can't you trick him to look up? hit them with that. But, okay, they are smart enough to know to, uh, to realize where you hit them from. Okay, so if I... If I cling to the wall near, <laughs> near the trap... Okay, I can get them to... Uh, Can I get that guy to look up? Maybe he fled. Yeah, that's what I wondered. Like, what if you threw a dot at the thing? And wouldn't they really hear that they just look up and wonder what the heck that sound was? Yeah, it doesn't make enough of a noise. 
Well, he's all the way over there. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like... Oh, wait, it does make noise when I hit... Okay, that's new. Okay. So, if I hit something organic... Also, fuck off. There in chat. Okay. If I hit if I hit something organic with the darts, it doesn't uh, give us noise. But it does if I do hit the walls and such. I think I just missed something in chat. I haven't paid attention to it. Uh, bot seller. Uh. I heard that. Okay, just turn the other way, dude. There we go. So, my idea did work. No. Yep. More than any battle. If we frighten them, we could control them. And I just get rid with with random fire. They're coming for you. Okay, that's likely to set off that one as well. There we go. Time to get out of there before I push my line too far. Move it. Someone is here. Hey. And pushed my lock too far. <laughs> okay. Another random find. Okay. Let's just get out of here. I do like that we. Got that, uh, that we get access to most of the upgrades from the main store from the main game. Okay. Yeah, is, is that it? Or is there more? I had delivered a message to the chief, and well, we never had trouble with him again. I return to the clan satisfied. Years passed, and I became curious about the ink that I had saved. I studied it, and mastered its use. Nobody knows more of its secrets than I do, and nobody here values it more. The fate of the clan rests in those drops, and I will do whatever it takes to ensure our future. And he died along with the plants. Okay. <laughs> I do have to wonder now if this was actually sold DLC or it was just added for free with the <clears throat> with the remaster. It's uh oh, wait, play next? Okay, no, there is no more. Okay, but nice that they give him <laughs> Uh, a menu as well. Yeah, okay. Look at the time. Yeah, 38. <laughs> 40 oh, minutes. I was right! But, yeah, enemy... I think... I don't remember us doing it. If I don't remember in, too much of it, but it, it could be we either did it and I forgot, or you actually looked up and decided that it was not worth doing or something. Maybe it was like near three years. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> some. Th yeah, it was somewhere around three years ago or something. So very much. Yeah, well, all of those are possible. Yeah, <laughs> when we only did two hour streams. Yeah. Okay. Well, that <laughs> that's market of danger done, which means that yeah, we'll cut the recording in a bit and then get started on Steam World Dig Two. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Meanwhile, I just go put some sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, uh, you want a ham or something on yours? No. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't be able. You couldn't ship those over in time to be fresh, anyways. <clears throat> ah, I just throw it through the window. I hope it lands. <laughs> anyways, to anyone who's been watching just for Mark and Ninja, thank you all for watching, and yeah, see you all next time. Is everyone?